Hey, what's happening, everyone? I'm Sir James, coming at you guys with another video. Hopefully, you guys are doing all right. As for me, well, I'm excited and not so excited. The exciting part is that I got a package in the mail, and we got some new lightsabers to take a look at, specifically Count Dooku and Darth Sidious. I'm assuming there's two in this box. If not, then it's going to be one or the other in today's video. And the part that has me bummed out is that Disneyland who were planning on reopening on like the July 17th, 18th, like in time for their birthday and whatnot, has been pushed back. And I had things planned. I was gonna be getting the X-Wing suit the day of it opens up. I already got the uh, gloves that came in from Anvos, Avos. I ordered a upgraded white vest because I felt like the white vest from the Disney one is a little bit cheapish on that suit. And a few extra things. I even have a helmet coming in tomorrow, but as far as I'm aware, Disney World is still going to be opening up. So for any of you that already have plans to go to Disney World, already got your reservations and whatnot, if any of you would like to give me a helping hand and seeing if, well, the Resistance Camp is open and would like to pick up a X-Wing suit for me and ship it to me, please let me know and hopefully we could work out something. Again, I'll be paying for the item and whatnot. But again, please let me know in the comment section down below but anyways we're here to focus on this the lightsabers because you guys like the lightsabers i did actually do a full playthrough for the star wars force unleashed 2 by the way if you guys were not aware i was going to be doing uh when things are a bit slow just so there's like not any content i decided i was going to be doing some star wars video game uploads and yes i do plan on doing the new lego one that comes out this year and also the um the, the squadron game that's coming out in October. Another reason why I want to get the X-Wing suit is because I'm going to be playing that in VR, so I just thought I'd go into character. So let's see what we got here. All right, two boxes. So it looks like we do have indeed two lightsabers. Cool, cool. Uh, what else was I wanting to go over? Oh, yeah, I'm also doing a little 3D print thing of this Stormtrooper, and it's got like a human skull on the inside. It looks pretty sick looking, and uh, I was going to showcase to you guys, but right now it's currently drying. I just put um, a protective coat on it, and then I still need to finish painting it, but I'll eventually share that once it's done. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Like I said, just when I heard Disneyland wasn't going to be opening up, anytime soon or i don't know exactly when's going to be reopening i just uh that killed me i even went and got this like kylo and backpack and everything for my disney bound outfit I even got a mask and everything uh, it's still driving me crazy but anyways uh, what do we start with i guess we'll start with the smaller box i can it doesn't see the name it just says or oh, the one thing I do know is that the hilts are by 89 Sabres, if you guys are curious, and both of these are installed with the Profi 2.2 board, if you were wondering. Uh, so I believe the smaller one should be, I assume, Darth Sidious. Yes, it is. Cool, cool. This is indeed Darth Sidious. Um, do I have, yes I do. I don't want to touch it with my bare hands. It's got this really nice shine to it. I got tape on my shoe. And so the last thing that I want to do is to put fingerprints all over it. Do I have another glove? Over all right, sorry about that. I had to go find another one. I ripped it putting it on, but oh well, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. So let's see, in this box, we have a empty plastic bag. Then we have a little tool here. I'm assuming I, this is to probably remove it. Then we have, there's two different tips here actually. Uh, there is an option here, if you're going to merely display it, you could put this tip on. Which let me give you guys a closer look here. It's very shiny, which is why I put the gloves on. And then we have the Darth Sidious lightsaber. This thing's got some heft to it. It's a small saber, as you can see, just it in my hands. It's definitely not a very large saber. Oh, 
hopefully the camera does well because the camera doesn't like it when there's a really shiny surface like this. It kind of freaks it out a little bit. Let's see. All right. So these would be the buttons right here, the green and the red. I'm assuming, let's see if I can figure this out. If I can't figure it out, then I might need to do another cut here. All right, hey, cool, that is pretty neat. Check out that removable chassis here. If it will focus. All right, so it looks like there is no battery. I could have sworn a battery is supposed to be included, but no big deal. I have a battery that I can use. I'll just bring over the Darth Vader one because I just fully charged this battery. Okay, the battery's not in here. That's why I left the battery on the charger. Look at, I'm completely unset. Okay, now, unfortunately, it doesn't say which way is positive and which way is negative because they both look exactly the same way and there's no markings, but I guess we'll just kind of pop it in and... Rise. Oh, there we go. I got it. First try. We're going to go ahead and slide this back in. Hopefully, I align it correctly just like that then we put this right in here all right so simple enough wasn't too complicated there's no blade retention screw so I'm kind of curious to see how that's gonna work out so let's see that lightsaber was Luke's all right so the green one is I am a Jedi like my father before me that's actually nice and clear Ben Solo Something inside me has always been there. But now it's awake. It's kind of weird holding this in my hands just because of the size. And granted, I have a Yoda Seeber coming in. Are you really a Jedi? At last we will have our revenge. Hey, we just did Darth Maul recently. I claim this sword. And my rightful place as leader of Death Watch. That was a great episode. I'll show you. Pikachu? What's Pikachu doing on here? It is starting to get way too hot in here. I'm already dying in here. Ugh. Okay, let's see. Not sure what that one is. Power. Uh, let's see. No. Blade here. Half it. Again, there's no retention screw or anything like that, so I'm not going to be swinging this around. And we'll do. That lightsaber was Luke's. Cool. So that one works, which means I'll have the chance to fully mess around with it. And I'm assuming I'm going to need my battery. So I'm going to go ahead and see how easy it is to get access to this. I was careful not to touch any of the gold pins because it was really hard to remove that. 
That one's a bit hard to remove as well. All right, cool. All right, so that one was the Darth Sidious. We're just gonna go ahead and pop everything back in here. If I could put the pieces back on. Ooh, I had that backwards. That makes sense. Just pop that back in there, bring this over, and then pop it into place. You know, this video is not going as smoothly as I was hoping for it to be, but that's all right. That was the Darth Sidious lightsaber. So we're gonna go ahead and push this off to the side here. Very neat, so I can't wait to mess with that. Now next up, we have another saber. I got a battery on standby just in case we're prepared this time. Then this one's going to be Count Dooku. So if you think about it, uh, Darth Maul, episode one, Darth Sidious, episode three, and then Count Dooku, episode two. And then I did uh, Obi-Wan for episode four. I did uh, Darth Vader, episode five. I haven't done episode six. And then I done a Kylo Ren already. So that would be for episode eight, Princess Leia, episode nine. So technically I have to do one for episode six and seven. Then I would have done at least one custom lightsaber for each of the different films. All right, so let's see. Wow, this one actually has some heft to it as well. I'm actually kind of surprised. I wasn't expecting it to have this much of a weight to it. And I wasn't expecting it to feel this small. That's interesting. Very interesting. I have no idea what that is. Oh, these are your buttons, all right. Now, whether or not if there's a kill key or a kill switch, I am not entirely sure. Maybe I have to put a battery in it. So uh, let me give you guys a closer look here. So as you can see, very good size indeed. This appears to be a button right here. And then this section here, this other gold piece. Looks like there is a blade plug. And I'm assuming That's a retention screw. But let me go ahead and kind of go off camera to figure out um, how to get this turned on or how to put the batteries in and I'll be right back. All right, so I managed to uh, figure it out. I forgot the person actually sent me a uh, video to show me how to take this apart. So if I wanted to get access to the profi board and add fonts to this or do whatever kind of configurations, I would know how to do it. So in order for me, so this has a rechargeable battery. I had to remove this little bottom piece here to remove that. And then there is a kill key in here. It is obvious that this contest cannot be decided by our knowledge of the force. And then we simply just bring this back using the Allen key. We're just gonna go ahead and put this together. Uh, the other thing that I took notice is that I did remove the blade plug and this saber actually uses the 7 8 blade, not the 1 inch, which thankfully I have some 7 8 blade. Actually, I also have, we're just going to use the small ones because obviously with my room, I don't want to break anything, at least yet, who knows, there might be one day construct some, uh, I'm just imagining maybe like one day I'm swinging something around and I break my 4K HDR TV over here. Could you imagine that? <laughs> I would be devastated. All right, so I know this blade's a bit shorter than what it's supposed to be, but just bear with me. 
put this off to the side here. I'm not going to do any like weighing the sabers until I actually do the review. Just kind of getting a feel to it. All right. It's going to take a little time for me to get adjust to it. So let's see. All right, so the button on the left hand side by the cover tech wheel, that changes the font. So we're just going to see what fonts are on here first. That lightsaber was Luke's. I am a Jedi, like my father before me. I'm assuming it's going to be the same fonts as the Sidious with the inclusion of Dooku. Then Solo. Something inside me has always been there. But now it's awake. Are you really a Jedi? Yeah. At sure. last we will have our revenge. I claim this sword. I'll show you. There's the Pikachu one. We'll get back to that one afterwards. Because I'm kind of curious about that Pikachu one. I think that sound is from Fallen Order, so I think that's a couple different ones. Power. It is obvious that this right. contest cannot be decided by our knowledge of the Force. And then the one over here on the right hand side. It's kind of weird because you'd you would almost think this red bit right here would do something. But instead, it's this little piece down here. I think there's something off with the speaker. Does the, does the sound seem a little bit off to you? Let me switch, uh, let me switch fonts here. Actually, that's about the same. <laughs> I don't know why, but I feel like the speaker maybe it might be a low battery thing because the just the sound when I'm swinging it seems a bit off from what I normally hear. But again, it could be maybe just a low battery thing. I am a Jedi, like my father before me. This one I know I could tell. That, or maybe the speaker is a little bit louder, and because of that, it's causing some distortion. Again, I'm just assuming, but yeah, that something with the speaker is throwing me off. So it's either. Maybe a low battery, or maybe the volume is a little bit too high for the speaker type, and which is why it's throwing me off completely. So hopefully I can see what the issue is and get that resolved. But other than that, the Saber feels good. Interesting Saber for sure. Ben Solo. Something. Are you really a Jedi? There's a pink one. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting that, that same sound. No matter what font I choose, the speaker is still sounding the same. There's, there's the Pikachu. And Pikachu shocks Ash. Oh, you could even hear it more on this one. So that was kind of like the first impressions of boxing. So as far as the Darth Sidious one goes, there seems to be no issue as far as speaker goes. Everything works great. Just had to pop in the battery. It's a little bit harder to remove the chassis with the battery in it, uh, but it's still doable regardless. Uh, this one, for the most part, it feels comfortable, uh, but looks great. Definitely, because um, every time I've seen pictures of this, I kept thinking the hilt was like really big looking. But I guess it's just because the pictures don't do it justice at all. 
Uh, but overall, this feels great in the hands. You you got this nice grip right here, so that's definitely good. It's just there's something off with the speaker. Again, it could be maybe the battery needs to be fully charged, or maybe the volume is a little bit higher than what it's supposed to be at, uh, causing that distortion. But hopefully I can get that resolved before I do my review and let you guys know why is my thing blowing up. <laughs> but anyways, if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below. And see you guys on the next video review.